Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. My name is Stephen Isle with Thunder Creek Equipment, and welcome to Pella, Iowa, the home of Thunder Creek Equipment. Today, we are going to talk to you about some of our commercial and construction applications and how those are being utilized in the field uh, every day by our customers. We're going to explain to you some of these fuel trailers and death handling uh, solutions that we have. So come take a look with me at uh, these fine products. So we appreciate you guys being with us here today. We know this is a little bit different platform than normal, right? Obviously we have shows and things where we can interact and see you guys out there in the field and get a chance to interact and go around our products. So that's just kind of what we want to do today. And we strongly encourage you that as you're here on this uh, broadcast with us, as you're looking at your screen, make sure you click on that question mark. Uh, if you have any questions, pop those in. We're gonna try to get to those at the end and, and address any questions that you guys may have. We're, we're hopeful we can answer those today. Um, again, my name's Steven, we're Thunder Creek. We're here in Pell, Iowa, the home of Thunder Creek. And the first trailer that we're gonna start with is our MTT model. This is our multi-tank trailer. Now, as many of you know, we started in the agricultural industry, uh, getting fuel and def out there to those large row crop uh, operators and farms across the country. Well, there's a lot of crossover. There was a lot of construction guys that had a need for fuel, had a need for DEF, but they weren't ag exempt like the farmers are from hauling bulk diesel without a hazmat. So what we did is in late 2015, we announced uh, and came out with an industry exclusive MTT or multi-tank trailer. And that's what we have behind us. So this model here is our 690. And the reason we say multi-tanks is because it has multiple 115 gallon tanks. Now the reason that we do that is the DOT requires anyone that's hauling over 119 gallons of diesel fuel to have their hazmat endorsement. Now, what we did to set out to get around that was break this trailer up into, again, those multiple tanks. So on this model with its 690, that's just a multiple of uh, 115 times six, so there's six 115 gallon tanks. Now, to make those their each individual container, what we did is if you step around to this side of the trailer with me, we've ran hoses from each one of those tanks to this manifold. Now, as you look at this manifold, this one has our electric solenoid option, but it can also come standard with a ball valve option. So in that case, you would just have six uh, levers here for those ball valves and you would shut those manually. Now, by closing each one of those valves before you go up and down the road, you know, that is gonna be viewed as non-bulk packaging and their own individual container. And again, staying under that, the key 119 gallon threshold here. Uh, we do make this in three sizes. We make a 460, we make a 690, and also a 920. So on that 920, you'd have the same manifold. You just have two more valves here where the hoses are coming in for all eight tanks. Now, I'll show you how uh, you would use this system if you would pull up to the job site. So obviously, we have those valves in that closed position as we've been driving down the road. As we pull up to the job site, what we're going to want to do, and on this electric manifold, why we offer that option is so that what you would do is hit this toggle switch, turning that bank on, and then opening each one of these six valves. Now, after those six valves are opened, we're going to start up our electric start gas-powered engine here, and that's going to pull from each one of those tanks equally through the hose and into the equipment. Now, the reason, again, for the option on the electric manifold instead of the optional manual one is before you take off, those do need to be closed to be compliant. If the operator would miss one or just forget altogether, when you shut this door, it's simply going to kill that connection and close those valves, making the operator compliant. Uh, again, we have a 35 foot hose reel and we're running all of that through our 10 micron filter. So you're getting good clean fuel out there into your equipment, especially with the uh, tolerances and things on injectors these days on this equipment. We do have options to upgrade to a 10 and four micron filter and to go up to 50 foot hose reels if you're needing additional length on the job site. Now the next piece I'd like to talk about on, that tra on this trailer is as everyone's moving into final tier four and this equipment that's requiring diesel exhaust fluid and having SCR systems, a lot of operators are obviously today looking for a solution to handle that diesel exhaust fluid. And not only to handle it, uh, but to do it in a clean manner to keep those machines running and not having downtime. 
So our systems here at Thunder Creek are all ISO certified. They go through a process uh, here in the, in the shop to certify that they're clean and that you're getting something contaminant free. And then something unique to our design is it's a bi-directional or closed loop system. So if you'll check with any of your engine manufacturers, most of them, or if not all of them, are going to recommend that you use a closed or a sealed system when delivering DEF to the machine. The reason they do that is they don't want you opening containers, refilling jugs, grabbing dirty funnels, and introducing contamination into that SCR system. So the way that we continue to do that when you're filling and taking it out to the field is each one of our DEF systems comes with this Micromatic coupler. Now this coupler, if you've not seen one before, is designed to lock into the top of the IBCs or individual bulk containers, those totes of death, the 275s and 330s. They've got a poly cap on the top of them and they've got this fitting. Simply what you do is you just quick couple this stainless steel quick coupler off. All the fittings are stainless because, again, death is uh, corrosive also. You would just hook this on. We have a bi-directional pump and you just hit tank fill here on this toggle switch. As you hit tank fill, it's going to draw that def from that tote and into this 100 gallon tank. So again, you've got 100 gallons of a DEF fluid here. Now a nice, another nice feature is this system has an electronic gauge. So as you're filling, this pump's going to run about eight gallon a minute. As it's drawing the def in, if you're not paying attention, if it hits full, it's automatically going to turn that pump off so we don't overflow the system and run def out inside of this, this box. Uh, after you get the system loaded and you're full of fuel, you pull back up on the job site. You're just going to take your auto shut off nozzle, wheel this out, hit tank dispense, and it's as easy as that. Whether you're filling, you know, a big piece of milling equipment, a dozer or a excavator on the job, wherever you need to run that up to, uh, that's how that system works there. Also, a few other features and benefits that are on this trailer. Again, a lot of different options. I think there's some links and downloads there on the page. You can download any of our information. You can dive in. You can kind of see what our standard equipment is, and then you can see what our options are because we're throwing a lot at you here, and a lot of these things, again, are options off of standard equipment. And uh, you can also reach out to any of one of us territory reps or our dealers and kind of find out. And again, I would remind you also by, I think that download is that question box. Click those in as they come up. We're going to get to those here at the end of this. Um, also, a really popular option is an electric hydraulic jack that we have on these trailers. Again, hooking and unhooking, picking up, leaving things on the job site. This just makes it a lot easier. Um, I think I alluded to this switch earlier. Now, again, not only does this switch, when you would shut the door, automatically close all your valves, but it's also, and it's kind of a little hard to see out here today because it is pretty bright and hot here in Iowa, but uh, it's also shutting off LED lights that are standard equipment on our trailers. So as you open up doors a lot of times early in the morning or late in the evening, it's a little difficult, obviously, you know, to see without that. So we make that standard. Now, the thing that's powering a lot of this, that's powering that def pump and that electric jack and this switch bank is our deep cycle battery. So we have a deep cycle battery in the front of this trailer, and that is charging through the seven pin connector while you're towing it around the pickup truck. So this system's going to recharge itself so that you can use it so that, you, you know, when you want to use this electric start, that's going to work, too. We also have options, I believe this trailer has it on and it does, for a solar panel. Now this solar panel, if you're going to leave this trailer on the yard and it's not going to be hooked up, that's going to help maintain that battery so it's going to work when you set out to use it. So that's the basis of the MTT, right? We're wanting to get fuel out to the job site without a hazmat and we want to do it with also having the DEF capability along with it. Now you take that a step further and with most of our products we offer service capability. Step around to the back and I'll show you some of those capabilities that are on this trailer. This is our utility box. This is something that uh, you see on some of our other trailers like our SLT and our FST uh, that we've sold so many to out in the ag industry. But this utility box gives you the capability to put your own systems or we have a multitude again of systems that we can put in factory direct. These boxes can be added on later or they can be ordered from the factory. It's actually a modular design. You can simply, if you start out with a base fuel and death trailer and you want to add the serviceability later, you can actually do that without trading your trailer. Uh, but some of the more popular options are a large air compressor, compressor welder generator, pneumatic grease systems, and so on and so forth. Now that kind of leads us to this next trailer that we just came out with uh, here in the past year. We introduced this out of Con Expo this year in Las Vegas. And this is another product that was just built out of necessity and demand for our, from our customers. Uh, so 
we really hit the ground running with the MTT. Customers were using it, enjoying having fuel, enjoying having def. And they said, they were asking for things like oil for top offs. You know, it sure would be nice if it just had a little bit of oil on it or, so, or you know, the ability to do a small oil change. Now, for years, we've made our SLT or service and lube trailer. Now, that trailer is dedicated to do PMs in the field. Just go out and do a full blown service on, on a piece of equipment, much like you would with a service truck. And then we had the MTT. But what we did next is this next product, and that's our MTO. And that just stands for multi-tank with oil. We take our basic uh, MTT trailer, and then we are using our modular design with our multiple tank design. So we again have our 115 gallon tanks. Uh, this MTO has a complete capacity of 690 gallons. It's configured of, I believe this one has five 115 gallon tanks and then it's got two 55 gallon tanks. So one of the 115s is utilized for reclaim, two of the 55s for fresh oil. And then up front, we still have all the fuel capabilities that we did on the MTT. So essentially all we've done here is taken an MTT, reduced a little bit of the fuel capacity. We still have diesel exhaust fluid, but we, now we've added fresh oils and a reclaim system. Now we'll step to the back of this trailer and I'll show you where we put all that stuff so that you can pump fresh oil and do the reclaim process all out of this one unit. On this specific model, again, we have the four 115 gallon tanks dedicated to fuel. And on one of the other systems, we have two 55 gallons for fresh oil. One fresh oil is, is gonna be ran out of this hose reel and another fresh oil of 55 is gonna ran, be ran out of this hose reel. So again, two fresh oils all coming out of here. Now this is a quick couple design. You can hook up your analog. Those are strapped in so they don't bounce out going down the road right now. But uh, those are analog preset meters so you can top off your equipment. As you drain your equipment, we have a filtered uh, drain pan here. So this can actually be used as a drain pan for your filters or to capture used oil. You can hook it directly to your reclaim hose, which is right above your fresh oils. That's this hose right here. You can stick your draw tube onto your reclaim, turn your selector valve to make sure that it's pulling into the trailer, turn on your air source, and using a diaphragm pump and this compressor, you're gonna be able to pull that reclaim out. Now those fresh oils are working off of pneumatic stick pumps and are gonna pump about two gallon a minute of fresh oil back into the equipment. <laughs> now this reel here that I just swung out, this is our grease system. So again, just to recap, this trailer has fuel, diesel exhaust fluid, we've got fresh oils, two fresh oils, and a reclaim system, and then also a pneumatic grease system. The compressor generator is obviously, again, powering all those pumps and systems, but along with that, we've got 50 foot of electric, and 50 foot of air. Now I think we're gonna step over, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Ross, and uh, he is gonna do some, do some questions and answers. And as he's pulling those up, I do wanna share with you guys, we are running some promos right now uh, on all these trailers that you're, you're seeing behind me today. We are offering a 0% interest with 5% down for the next six months. It's no pay, no interest for six months on any of the trailers that we have. And again, Ross, you got some questions booted up over there for us? Yes, sir, absolutely, Stephen. So a couple of quick housekeeping notes uh, just based on questions that have come in. Um, so first from Justin Smith uh, asks if uh, they can, if he can view this recording uh, after the broadcast here, because he literally had to go out to a 911 call. So Justin and everybody else watching, yes, this video will be uh, distributed out here in the next yeah. few days. Um, and then with that, um, our next question here, Stephen, comes from James in Georgia, who looks like joined a little bit late. He was wondering if you could go into a little bit more detail on the, the details of the hazmat exemption and how exactly we get, get around that. Oh yeah, perfect. No, um, James it was, right? Yep. That, that is the most common question that we get on this platform. A, a matter of fact, when we first rolled this product out, you know, a lot of people questioned us on the legality of this and if we were actually going to be able to do this and 
and they're a little hesitant even today, even after this product's been out on the market for five years. Uh, we've done extensive research on this, and uh, we've, used, we've re used all kinds of resources to help and to make sure that we have and, and are gonna be compliant when we sell you this product so you can use it with confidence. And probably the simplest way that I can sum that up is, it's again, it's around that bulk packaging, which is limited to 119 gallons. So for example, it's not uncommon to have a fuel tank in the back of the truck. So your, most of your fuel tanks in the back of a service truck are gonna be that 110 to 115 gallon that tank. And with that, you're perfectly legal to pull that up and down the road without a hazmat. It's when you cross that 119 threshold. So if you took a 200 gallon tank and you put that in the back of your truck, you wouldn't be legal or your service truck. You, you would technically need your hazmat. So uh, adversely, like if you look at it like this, if you had four 55 gallon drums, which you'd have 220 gallons of fuel, you would not need your hazmat because they would be in their own individual package. And again, that's just kind of what we've done on this MTT. 115 gallons is what the size of each one of those tanks is. And then by plumbing it to that manifold and shutting those valves, uh, you're perfectly compliant to go up and down the road without a hazmat. That was great, Stephen. So this next question actually comes in from Will in New Jersey. Um, we've talked a, quite a bit about commercial and construction applications for our products. Tell us a little bit more about, you know, outside and in addition to construction, what are some of the other industries that our products are being used yeah. in? Absolutely, that's one of the most exciting things about this, right? As we started in the, in the ag industry, and that was our, our primary customer, and then we went over into the commercial industry, it's just opened up all kinds of opportunities. You know, there's so many, so many folks out there that are burning diesel fuel and DEF and just need a better way to handle it in a more efficient way. Uh, we've seen a lot of opportunities, obviously, with just your normal site prep and, and excavating companies. Of course, road and bridge is a very big area for us. Uh, the utilities uh, market is very good for us, too. Uh, sometimes, anytime that uh, work becomes remote uh, and, and, and kind of falls into that need, that's been really good for us. Uh, we've seen some success with disaster relief, uh, whether it be in uh, response to a hurricane or snow removal. That's also been, been some pretty good business for us. Outstanding. Um, so <laughs> this next question comes in from Andrew in California. Very straight, fairly straightforward question, but he's just wondering about pricing. We've talked a lot about, yeah. you know, tailorability and, and customizability with our products here on the commercial side. Talk to us a little bit about you know what, what that price range looks like. Yeah, that's obviously a really common question. There's not a lot of price expectation out there because it hasn't been out there very long. Folks just don't know what to expect. I can tell you, on these trailers behind me, there's a lot of options. So there's a lot of different ways you can set up a Thunder Creek. Depending on how many options you're gonna put, how many different oils, things like that, obviously that's gonna affect the price quite greatly. So these, these trailers are gonna range anywhere from that 17,000 to $55,000 range, depending on how you're how you're upfitting them. All right. Um, this next question comes in from Richard, and this is on the regulation side, but he's asking if we can carry diesel as well as gasoline. A little bit of a tricky situation there. No, gasoline gets into a, a whole different uh, set of regulations. Uh, we really try to, you know, stay away from that. Also, a lot of our pumps and systems are enclosed, which just isn't a good idea with the vapors and a, and a flammable versus a combustible is really where it kind of starts to dive into that. So, uh, in short, we do not recommend gasoline on, on any of our uh, Thunder Creek products. Well, other than we do make a, D a double wall DOT 406 compliant trailer, but that's kind of a, a specialized, but not on the MTT or MTO. Thanks, Stephen. That was, that was great. Um, let's see. Adam in Oklahoma wants to know, um, let's see here. Are our trailers made in America? I think we have a good answer oh, yeah, for them. Absolutely. I mean, right here where we're at in Pell, Iowa, this is where it all started. Uh, and and this, this operation has grown and we've continued to add on and add employees and everybody that works for us works right here in Pella, Iowa. And uh, from, the, from the chassis all the way up, these trailers are made right here. Eric in New York asks, um, it sounds like he's operating in an urban environment, maybe New York City or the surrounding area. He's wondering if we can equip a truck with the same type of technology is our multi-tank trailer. I feel like you may have 
put this question in, It's possible. In, Ross. It's possible. I feel like you might have staged this. The marketing guy snuck that and one yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's just some applications where folks don't want to pull a trailer, right? And uh, here in the last couple of years, we have started to offer an, our MTU product, which is just our multi-tank upfit. We take our MTT product and mount that typically on a uh, 550 chassis. Uh, we're offering it on the Ford and the Ram platform currently. But again, a multitude of options now. We can go up to 920 gallons of diesel fuel, no CDL and no hazmat on that platform. And now we are even offering some def options on that, on that platform. So Steven, this next question comes from Tim in Wisconsin. And, and you touched on this a little bit earlier, but for somebody who's looking for, doesn't necessarily need diesel, but more of that full service maintenance suite in a trailer platform, what would be the right solution for him? Really the best thing to do is just, is to get with your dealer or get with your local TSM and have a conversation on what your needs are. Uh, with so many different options and different platforms out there, you know, primarily you would look at our SLT, our service and lube trailer. Uh, but our MTO can be set up with five different fluids. Uh, and if you're not going over that and the quantities are right, you can actually achieve that on our MTO also. So a couple different options out there, but you're probably gonna be looking at our service and lube trailer or our MTO. Outstanding. Um, let's see. Jeremy in Florida, uh, he heard you mention the financing promo a little bit earlier. Yeah. He was wondering if you could go into slightly more detail about that. Yeah, um, so essentially, you, know, you find your dealer or find your local territory manager, figure out the trailer that you want, uh, you get your quote, and if you wanna proceed with that, it is as simple as it is a 5% down payment. Uh, at that time, you do not owe any more money until six months from there, or from that time. It's a truly no interest, no payment for six months. Uh, if you would like to continue to finance that product after that, I believe it rolls into a 4.49 uh, rate for up to five years. Outstanding. Uh, just a couple more questions here. We obviously want to be sensitive to everybody's time and thank everybody for joining us. Um, this next question is regarding just kind of the, the tailorability of these products. Um, if somebody wanted one fairly rapidly, what, what's the general turnaround time? Yeah, uh, mo any standardized product that we have, those lead times are gonna fluctuate uh, because we are a build order manufacturer. However, I think like right now on our MTTs and MTOs, we're about a six week lead time. Now we do have some product on the ground and we have some product at our dealers that some of our more common, common setups. So, you know, feel free to browse those you know, the internet out there or check out our website. And of course, always just reach out to one of us territory managers. Steven, Dan in Texas is wondering about a dealer network. What can we tell them on that? Yeah, that if regard? you want to find a dealer, uh, just simply go to thundercreek.com. At the top, there's going to be a, a, a button to click on. Uh, I think it's on the top right, the banner. It says dealer locator. Once you click on that, just make sure that you're, uh, you know, you're selecting that you're in the construction or commercial market, that you're not looking for an agricultural dealer because our dealers do carry different lines. Click on that, pop in your zip code or your city name, and it's going to give you, uh, it's going to give you your closest dealer. Is that all the questions we got? That's all we've That's got it. for okay. today. If we didn't, I think we're up against time too. So if we didn't get to your questions, we'll address those later. Um, again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for letting us stumble and sweat through this and go through everything and show you our products. We really appreciate that. We hope to do it again soon and see you again soon. Uh, and last, we are gonna leave you with a promotional video from one of our customers, uh, Colorado Milling out in Colorado. Been using the products and uh, we'd just like to share with you what they have to say about the product. Thanks again, guys. My name is Chris Voorhees. I'm owner of Colorado Milling LLC out of Denver, Colorado. And we are currently in the Denver City and County overlay project. We've got uh, 220 working milling machine out here. We've got eight in dumps. We're milling two inches off the road out here. So what we normally did in the past is after every day, we would have a guy off the crew take the service truck to a gas station. And most of the time he would take anywhere from two to three trips a night to fuel up all the equipment to get it ready for the next day. Um, a lot of times it was overtime work and it was long-term very expensive. With the trailer, it's got a 100-gallon def tank on it, and we probably empty this trailer every other day. So we're filling this trailer up 
to capacity about three times a week. We'll show up and fuel our equipment. It cuts back on our time taking trips to the fuel station. It's very valuable just in cutting over time and costs. The beautiful thing about this trailer is you don't need a DOT or a hazmat license for this trailer. The way it's set up, there's valves for every tank in the trailer, and as long as those valves are closed going down the road, you're perfectly legal. So it made sense for us to buy this trailer. Um, being able to have a non-CDL or a non-hazmat driver fuel our equipment on a day-to-day -day basis. That is a very important deal with this trailer, is, is anybody can essentially run it that has common sense that can pull a trailer. It hauls nice. It's again, it's short, easy to easy to pull. You can get in and out of tight areas pretty pretty easy. With this def tank, we're able to roll up on the job, fill the equipment up without making a mess, and uh, be in and out as quick as we can to to get the job going. The thing that sticks out the most for me would be how easy it is, how simple everything works on this trailer. You can't really screw anything up on it. The valving system, how the pump operates, how the def pump and tank operate, it's very easy, simple to, to run, to operate. I see this being a big player in the construction future.